a lower price and a lower market cap stocks. After we clear the data, we run a regression and we find the beta for all the coefficients, for the four coefficients. And then we run it again and again. In this loop, you can see we run this. And then here was the loop. So let's do here. Here, yeah. So we need to wait, wait a little time. So actually, here we will, we will create a variable. The name is coefficient to store the coefficient we each time we run from the loop. You can see for the first regression, we run the regression from uh, 2003 to 2004, and then we got our we got four coefficients, and then we store that in this variable. You can see this guy for the first column is exactly the same as the coefficient. That was on. Um, okay, the order changes. You can see the constant, the last one here, is the first one here. Okay. Then, uh, after we run the regression for the five years, we can get five columns of coefficient. And uh, after that, we just uh, calculate the mean of mean and the standard deviation of the coefficient, and uh, then we could do the t statistic for the coefficient. And actually, we got five guys. The first t is for the constant, and uh, then each one for the for a uh, for a variable for x variable, and uh, actually here we can see these two guys are pretty big. But um, just uh, for this first one, you got something well. But re remember, the variable is the market cap. And uh, here, theory tells that the, the bigger the firm, the less the return it is except, uh, expected to give. So you will think probably you have something wrong here. So you, you do not like this variable. So we just uh, use this guy to uh, weight our portfolio. This is the B to F E ratio. For example, uh, for example, when we pick a stock in the later two years, we just uh, rank, ranking the B E ratios for each firm and uh, along the top 10% and short the bottom 10%. That's cool. So that was here. You construct the T statistics and then you go to the part C, out of sample test. So similarly, you construct a loop. And uh, in this loop, first you import the data and move uh, um, the outliers and uh, also clear the, the small firm and the lower price, like the B ratio one. And then you do the log market size and you destroy it. And uh, then you calculate the score, basically because we just want to use the BEME ratio. So here, I just, uh, uh, the solution just to use the t stats 3, that is the previous t statistic if you got it. And uh, then times the stock. And uh, after that, dollars invested is the total amount of your money you want to put into your portfolio. And then calculate the numbers of stock you want to buy for the long and the short one. Here you can see the uh, this function returns the number of elements in a vector in your scores. The scores is the same as how many stocks you have. And uh, times 0 0.1 means you want to buy just the, the top 10% of the stocks. And uh, similarly, you want to short the bottom 10%. That's the number of stocks you want to short. And uh, then you just uh, start the score. And in this code, it will return to you uh, what kind of stock you will buy. And uh, also, that was on the M file. You can just run it. 
So after we run the batch of code. So this is, are we like, is this given to us or do we have to write all of that? Uh, almost a given. You just need to do a, a little modification to match the years. Okay. And uh, what you have got is from here. Oh, holy shit. So basically you are getting something oh that you do a lot, a lot of starts. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. Let me find the thing. Alright, here. So what you are getting is say portfolio stocks sorted by score. Oh. And then you are get say you know, this guy. The score is say eleven and uh, then some scores six, pretty high. And uh, then you also get the short ones. You can see the score is somehow 90. And uh, after that, it do another sort here. It just, just gives you the accounting name, the ticker, the score. Also, it gives you the return. Same percent in return. You can see the first one gives you almost a triple in this time period, in one year. And uh, that was the all of my performance for the selected score and uh, all the little T's. It also did the T for each score. And also do the one for the short guys. And the most important is to calculate the portfolio. In your long portfolio, you earn 64% in that year. And uh, for your short portfolio, you lose uh, 36. So in total, you earn 28. And uh, that was the next year. Same stuff. And uh, then you finally you, you win 1.2% in that year. So that was all the stuff through uh, problem, problem 5. In the problem 6 and the problem 7, you just read through all the stuff using um, a longer period. So uh, you can see from here, we start from 2003. And, uh, for the in sample ended at 2008 and they used the 2009 and 2010 for the out of sample test. But for problem 6, we start from 2000 and end, end at 2008. We add two more years. Three? Yeah, three. And uh, also we use two years to the out of sample test. And uh, then we just to rerun that code. Uh, almost the same thing. So actually here, this was the constant in the manner. And uh, this time we picked the first, uh, we picked these two guys. That was the same thing, we just cleared the data. And then in this time we calculated the score in this way. You can see the T stage three is this guy the 2.21 times the, the book to market ratio and the, the T4 times the earning to price ratio and uh, everything else is the same as before. So if you read this, you will end up lose 0.2%. And uh, for the, because we run the 
uh, all of them were tested for two years. You can see for the one year before, the previous years. You got to submit all these stuff, just uh, submit the final return of this portfolio for the long one, short one, and the total return percent. That's all. Any questions? So wait, what do we actually have to change? I'm a little bit confused. Like, we're given code, right? And then we yeah. have to change. So what exactly do we have to change? Um, just a little. For example, you get, you're given the code, but in this guy, just uh, write the, a short period. You need to add more. Add something uh, for the first for the first set. We just uh, something like this. Add more years. We we want to use more data. Okay. okay. And also, it's done after compute the coefficient in in the code you're given. Just uh, n for the part b. But in what you need to do it to calculate the t state. Uh, yeah, this guy. You, after you got the coefficient, you need to get the mean standard deviation and uh, calculate the t six. Okay. And uh, for this part, you need to uh, create the. You need to calculate the scores by yourself. I mean, here, you, you need to try to create the scores, and after you do that, everything is. Where it gives you, where it tells you how to clear the data, how to calculate the z-score, and uh, how to allocate your money to the scores you pick, and also where it displays the what kind of stocks you pick and uh, what's the return of the stocks you pick, and uh, also also it calculates the the long value of the portfolio and the short value of the portfolio. So we really need to calculate the return of the long portfolio, short portfolio, and the sum it up is your net return. But we don't have to write that code. That's already generated. Right? That code's already given to us, right? I mean, we don't. Mm, here, you just uh, get the short portfolio value. Okay. So what you, you need to do is say calculate the what's your how many money you invest in that, and uh, then what finally you got that will be your return. Okay. Gotcha. Sure. So any questions? No? Okay, good. Cool.